Mastering Division The horizontal line with dots in English mathematics. Hello, learners. Welcome to another exciting video. Today, we're going to delve into the world of division symbols and notations. Our primary focus will be on understanding the horizontal line with dots notation, a common symbol used in mathematics, especially division. Grab your notebook, a pen, and let's get started. Before we move directly to the topic, let's quickly recap what division means in mathematics. Division is the process of splitting or sharing a number equally. It is the reverse operation of multiplication. If you're dividing 10 by 2, you're finding out how many times 2 fits into 10. And the answer is 5. Easy, right? In English mathematics, the most common symbols for division are the slash and the division sign, divided by. For instance, when dividing 8 by 2, we can write it as 8 halves or 8 divided by 2. Both of these expressions will give us the same answer, 4. Now let's jump into the main topic of this video. There's another, less known but very interesting way to represent division in English mathematics. It's called the horizontal line with dots notation. The format is like this. A underscore 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 B the dots are on either side of the line, while A is the dividend, the number to be divided, and B is the divisor, the number by which we divide. For example, if we want to divide 8 by 2, we can represent it as 8 underscore 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 2. Why would we use this? horizontal line with dots, notation. Good question. This format is especially helpful in complex fractions and long division where there are multiple steps involved. It's like a visual guide to the process of division. Plus, it's also very common in textbooks and academic resources. So, understanding this notation can make your learning journey smoother and more efficient. We hope you found this video on the horizontal line with dots notation for division helpful. Remember, learning is a process. Don't rush. Take your time to understand each concept. Keep practicing, keep exploring, and let's demystify math together. See you in the next video.